And from time to time, we saw these heavy downpours, vivid lightning, and also we saw flash flood issues uh, through the evening and into overnight into t this morning. Right now, you're looking at the daily Olmanac. 91 degrees was the high temperature yesterday. So not only was it a very active day, it was very warm by the shoreline. Temperatures were in the low 90s, but with the dew points that were in the upper 70s, it felt like triple digits out there. I do think that we will be well below the average, which is around 86 degrees today, but it still will be humid and uh, dew points will be in the upper 60s to low 70s. Here's a look at the satellite and radar right now. Still working uh, some showers working through the state. As you look here at a downpour near Marlboro and East Hampton, just north of Colchester, we also have another one in Killingly and Danielson right now. And uh, in addition to that, I just wanted to show you the last 24 hours or so. This is the rainfall totals. You can see some significant rainfall for areas uh, just north of um, uh, Middlesex County and New Haven County. And you can see here just uh, in areas in Tolland and Wyndham County where we saw a significant rainfall in that. In addition to that, at Ashford, Route 74, and Sells Road. This is sending from Robert. Take a look at this. This is uh, some pretty good downpours and uh, that flooded the road there. And this also taken in Palm Fret. Mark on Twitter sharing this. This was gusty winds, heavy rain at times. And you can see the winds just whipping there and also the chance for some hail. Right now, numbers are generally in the 70s and upper 60s, around 77 degrees in New Haven and upper 60s in Torrington. The dew points are the same, so it is just a very mild start to the day and very muggy. So we do have a chance for a few scattered showers and storms today under mostly cloudy skies. It is still going to be humid and unsettled to start this upcoming week, but we are dry, fingers crossed, for uh, the end of this week. So for today, temperatures will be in the low 80s. With the dew points, it'll feel like the upper 80s by the afternoon and into the evening here. So it is going to be overall a very humid start for us, and we are going to bring in that chance for some scattered shower activity through the day today. So you can see here by 2 p.m. still seeing that chance for an isolated shower. So if you're just heading out the door, make sure you grab that umbrella and keep your eye on the sky and just stay weather aware today. We do have this flash flood watch that is in effect for a good portion of the state for our four northern counties, and that is because of isolated storms that are slow moving. We could put down anywhere from one to three inches, and we just don't need the rain right now. Overnight tonight, temperatures fall back into the 60s and upper 60s in New Haven, 64 in Torrington, the seven day forecast overall showing an unsettled weather pattern as we head towards the first couple of days of this week. So Monday, more of the same with temperatures in the upper 70s, near 90 degrees for Tuesday. Now that now the icon says dry, but there is a chance with the higher humidity level levels as well as the, the temperatures that are in the 90s uh, that we do see some isolated shower activity even some thunderstorms towards the afternoon and evening on Tuesday Wednesday more of the same before Angela we dry things out fingers crossed for Thursday Friday and into this upcoming weekend can we do it we can do it we can do it <laughs>